We're going to find out. We're going to find out what kind of character we're made of. Um, we're clearly in the midst of incredibly tough times. We've faced it throughout this season. And, you know, we're going to find out what we're made of and if, if, if we're the team we think we are. It gets no easier as we got to go to Buffalo and play uh, an outstanding offensive club in, in, in Toronto. And, you know, we need to, we need to, we need, I mean, we need to step it up, period. And what were you seeing with Herman this afternoon? Um, I didn't think he had great, great feel with his uh, secondary pitches, which is usually, you know, such a bread and butter for him. I, I thought he was a little flat with his secondary stuff. And then, um, and then probably not the greatest command with his heater, you know, missing out over the plate a bunch, you know, got hurt, got hurt with some two strike hits uh, against him, especially in that first inning and then beyond, but just overall, just not real sharp with his secondary. And, um, you know, it was a grind for him. And David, you have the next question. Aaron, you mentioned the uh, the, lo the loss of Minnesota and then two straight since then. Are you concerned that there's been any sort of you know, carryover? You know, you've been a very streaky team this year and, and last year, for that matter. Yeah, uh, I'm not. I, I I'm not on our, on our level of of coming out and, and ready to play. Um, you know. You know, today was just where we got behind the eight ball a little bit, and, and you know, you know their ace kind of took it from there, and and really, you know, when you're strike one all the time, it's a t up uphill climb when when Nola's got his pitches going like that. So, um, you know, I think the frustrating thing about these last five is, you know, coulda shoulda had four of them, you know, and then, you know, today. Um, you know, you kind of salvage this trip a little bit and, and, and we go out and, and really get shut down. And, and that's, that's frustrating. I understand what you're talking about coming out ready to play. Obviously last, yesterday you, you, you fought hard to get back in there, uh, right. but do you think there, there, there's a confidence drop that one, you know, DJ tied it up yesterday, but then didn't right. go beyond that, you know, and then, and then you lost. I don't think there's a confidence drop. Um, and I do feel like we're competing better and, and at times I, I feel like we've needed to be better in that regard. And I feel like that's absolutely happening right now. Um, I think, you know, as the offense gets going, um, you know, that, that's where we gain a lot of our swagger from. And, and, you know, it takes all of us in there to, to kind of create that. So um, I don't think there's a confidence drop, um, but that said, I think we all we, we all know we put this uniform on. We're expected to win, and we need to we need to pick it up in the in the biggest kind of way. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, Ryan Hope, please unmute. Aaron, uh, Ken kind of touched on what I was going to ask, but do you sense there's a fatigue in the dugout, maybe a complacency as these losses pile up, where uh, guys are just almost getting used to losing here? No. Why not? I, I I know them too well, and and I don't think there's any getting used to freaking losing. Hell no. Get the hell out of here with that. Eric Boland, you have the next question. Aaron, as a as a manager, are you hamstrung to a degree of what you can do? Well, I mean, it's look, it's it starts with me and 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 setting the tone and setting the culture here that um, that that's hopefully putting everyone in a good position to go out and perform at their highest level. We clearly have not done that well enough to this point. Um, my confidence in those guys is unwavering, um, but but it definitely starts with me as far as making sure we're in the best position to go out and play our best game, and and we haven't done that well enough. Dan Martin, please unmute. Aaron, uh, the starting pitching was such a strength of yours for most of the season now. It's been about uh, two weeks where it's, it's really struggled, not just one guy. What, what do you think has happened to the, to the rotation as a whole? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the thing. You're going to go through a stretch like that, and that's where, you know, our offense needs to be able to pick up. And, and, and so that's been a little bit of the issue for us here is, as, you know, the offense has gotten going, gained a little bit of traction. You know, we've, we've not gotten it done in other areas. So, look, I think overwhelmingly the starters have been a strength for us. The pitching overall has been a strength for us. It's been about the offense catching up and, and, 
and doing what we're expected to do. Um, we're going to have, you're going to have, even in the best pitch seasons, we're going to have these little bumps in the roads where it's not perfect every time out. Um, but that's, 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 that's why we're a team and it's on the rest of us to, to pick that up when, when the offense is scuffling, the pitching has got to be there and vice versa. And I know it's, it's not any reason why you lost today, but Odor getting thrown out of third, you know, in, caught in the rundown. It just seems like that's a recurring issue for this team. What, like how, how frustrating is that to, to see that consistently very, happen? Very, very frustrating, very frustrating. So we'll practice it and, um, you know, examine, you know, mechanics of it. You know, I think he was a little aggressive in a secondary lead and got into a place he, you know, a little bit of a no return place. So those are things we've got to continue to instruct and teach.